Don't just a boy. Turn it up, turn it up. Turn it up, turn it up, girl. Turn it up, turn it up. Hello my beauties and welcome to yet another episode of Skincare with Asikia Iyalar. Of course, I'm your girl Asikia Iyalar. Today, I am back with another exciting video. From the look of this topic, you guys, you know already what I'll be talking about, which is dark circles around the eyes, sunburn, uneven skin tone, photosensitive skin, and people will have darker skin tone on the face and lighter skin tone on the body. Obviously, something is going on not correct. That's the reason why you you are having these problems. At the end of this video, I will be giving you guys a natural solution to all of these problems. But please, you need to be consistent because consistency is a key when it comes to skincare. And if you really want to use natural products, you want to be patient and you want to be consistent in doing what you have to do to solve those problems. Now, before we get into all of that, it is always best for us to gain understanding, know your skin, this is very crucial guys. I have been in a place where I had issues with my skin like no man's business. And at that point, I didn't even know my skin type. I didn't know what the pH level of my skin was. I didn't even know what the pH level of the skin is. And it was a very huge thing for me when I came to understanding that my skin has to have a certain pH level for it to function really well. I have made videos already about the skin pH level, but I'm going to talk a little bit just for those people who haven't seen that video yet. Now, the skin has a pH level of 4.4 to 5.5, and when you are in that range, your skin is in a safe place. Then your skin will be able to protect itself from the UVA damages, UVB, also the free radicals damages we get on a daily basis, bad bacteria, and all of that. So it is always best for your skin to be at that pH level. You don't want to go higher, you don't want to go below, because when you go below, your skin is going to be too acidic that can cause you to have photosensitive skin. When it's too uh, alkaline as well, your skin will not be able to protect itself from the bad bacteria and all of the UV rays and all the uh, free radicals we get on a daily basis. So you may want to really understand the pH level of your skin and how to balance your skin pH level because this is one key thing that will help each and every one of you having issues with your skin. And I promise you, this is one thing most of the manufacturers or the skincare industry will not want you to know because they know when you have that knowledge of balancing your own skin pH level, you won't be having issues and they won't be selling products. <laughs> yes, I will tell you, this is the honest truth, guys. I am into the business and I know. Now let's quickly move on to one key thing that can cause a person to have dark circles around the eyes. Dark circles around the eyes can be caused by various reasons and the first one I will talk about here is genetic. If you have dark circles, I used to have a friend that has a dark circle, he's a Caucasian, and no matter what he does, no matter what he do, no matter what he apply topically on his skin, even though he sleeps eight hours nine hours in a day even though he eats healthy drink enough water he still have dark cycles around his eyes and that's because that was genetic and there was nothing he can do I don't know if there is a solution now for people who have dark cycles around the eyes caused by genetic I would say if this is your problem please speak to your doctor about it there might be a solution for you but when I know this person some years back there was nothing he could do he had to live with that and and yeah, so for those people who have the genetic uh, dark circles around their eyes, I would say please see your doctor. Your doctor can be in a good place to give you advice. If there's any solution, then that would help you a lot. Now moving on to the main thing, because I just want to get this out of the way, because not all dark circles are caused by photosensitive skin, or maybe you are doing something wrong, or not drinking enough water, or not eating healthy. Okay guys, now we all know that the skin is the largest 
biggest organ in our body and the skin needs to be taken care of like really well. The skin around your face is the thinnest and when it comes to the eye area, it's even more thinner. So most times people don't read instructions from the manufacturer. When the manufacturer takes their time and writes on their product, look, you have to use this this way. You don't want to use it around your eyes. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. This is really important, guys. And I see so many people neglect the fact that a manufacturer has taken their time to give you instructions on how to use a product and they just want to do it or oh, since it's for the face I can apply it around my eyes this is one of the reasons that can cause your skin to be photosensitive around the eyes and when you are out there in the Sun you you can easily be burnt and that's gonna result to more problems for you beside what we do that causes us to have issues with our skin outwards we need to understand that our skin also needs to be taken care of inwards whatever we do reflects around around our eyes. Trust me guys, if you're not sleeping well, if you're not getting enough sleep, your eyes will tell you. The skin around your eyes will give you the signal. If you're not eating a healthy diet or you're not drinking enough water, the skin around your eyes will give you the signal. So everything that goes on inside your body actually reflects around your eyes. The skin around your eyes will tell you because that's the thinnest part of your skin. So that's the first place actually you would start to see the signs and it is always best for us not to neglect the fact that our skin is actually giving us a signal for us to either sit up and live a healthy lifestyle so if you're the type that lives a healthy lifestyle and you still have uh, dark circles around your eyes then I would suggest you checking your skincare products because our skincare products I, I, I have said this so many times you don't want to use too many actives at the same time. And also checking what the manufacturer writes is very important because not every product that are meant for the face can be applied around the eyes. You wanna make sure you are staying away from too many actives. You don't want to use a AHA facial cleanser and then you're using an AHA physical exfoliant or a chemical exfoliant, I should say. You don't want to now top that up with a physical exfoliant and then at the end of the day, you want to use retinol moisturizer. That is too many actives at the same time and that will cause your skin to be photo sensitive. You will strip your skin of its moisture barrier and your skin will not be protected from the UV rays and also the free radicals damages we get on a daily basis. So you want to make sure that you're checking out the products you're using. If you have too many um, actives, you want to make sure you're using maybe one in the morning and then the other one at night. But piling them up at the same time, doing the Korean skincare, I see people making these mistakes like crazy. They want to do the 10 step Korean beauty routine and they are actually using BHA, AHA, retinol, this, that and that on their skin. It is not a good thing to do at all because all of these things, they do contain RC. Yes, they do contain glycolic acid, lactic acid, mandelic acid, malic acid, all of this acid put together will not be so good for your skin at all. Your, your skin will be crying for help. So you want to make sure that you know the right thing. Also, I'm going to beg you guys, if you do not understand the skin pH level, you want to gain understanding about that. Go online, talk to your doctors. I have made a video already, I think, yeah, about the pH level of the skin you want to also buy a testing kit when I started learning about skincare and the first time I heard about balancing of the pH level I was like what 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 does that ever mean <laughs> and I got home got the kit and I tested all my beauty products and oh my world some of my products were just too acidic for my skin some were too alkaline I had to throw them out and buy myself a good uh, skincare product with a good uh, pH level. Thank God for the position I am today. At this point in my life, I am actually manufacturing my own product that I use and I have the ability to control the percentage or the quantity of all of these acids that I put in my product. And it is not a bad thing if you want to use glycolic acid every day. You can use glycolic acid every day, but that depends on how much the manufacturer puts in there. 
some people just end up or some companies they end up putting so much and when you're using such kind of product every day they might cause you to have photosensitive skin and that results to uneven skin tone sunburn dark circles around the eyes you name it there's just too, too much about this subject maybe i might make a separate video talking about the ph level itself that video is going to cover everything you need to know about how you can balance your ph level how you can test a ph level of any product you buy yeah and all of that good stuff will come with it now if you know that you're having issues with uneven skin tone your face is darker than your body you also need to check the products you are using guys this is very very important do not look <laughs> knowledge is the key guys <laughs> you need to know your ingredients it is very important some people don't know that the product they buy is actually a, uh, a chemical exfoliant and when you're your cleanser has a chemical exfoliant your toner has a chemical exfoliant and then you are actually using a physical exfoliant on your skin that is totally wrong <laughs> you don't want to mess around with this kind of stuff guys make sure you know your ingredient don't just go to the store or go online and buy products without knowing what they stand for you want to make sure you're not using too many things at the same time if you want to focus on the physical exfoliant then do the physical exfoliant make sure you're not using a physical exfoliant facial scrub and then your toner contains a chemical exfoliant that's you're giving your skin too much work you don't want to do that guys so solution I would say is first of all you want to differentiates yourself from each and every group of people that I just talked about here is it genetic that is causing you to have dark circles around your eyes is it too much active that you are using that is causing you to have photosensitive skin or is it that you are actually not living a healthy lifestyle you want to make sure you figure out which category you be belong and if you belong in a category of the people who do not actually understand what they have in their product and they are using too many actives at the same time time this is a very good opportunity for you to buy a testing kit a ph testing kit i did that in the past it, it was a very good practical for me and uh, i it's it's just amazing for you to do this it's very easy if you're getting the ph meter testing kit that will be the best if you want to get the ph testing strip that is also very good as well but the meter reads accurate um ph level okay so get yourself that each and every product you have now test them all and see what uh ph level they belong if they are too acidic then you should not use that product anymore if they are too alkaline you should not use them anymore so now let's jump right into the solution i made a video already and i am so grateful for those of you that came back and said to me oh asikia i try this and it's very okay for my skin that would say up until today that is one of my best of the best uh, physical exfoliant natural physical exfoliant that I have ever made and I'm still using it up until today because those things are packed with natural lactic acid in that video please guys check the video because I won't be doing the practical for you guys to see you want to check on that video the product I used in that video were um, honey milk milk is packed with lactic acid vitamin a vitamin b oh my god vitamin d i can go on and on with all the benefits of milk it is amazing for your skin i also use yogurt and that is also packed with lactic acid natural lactic acid which is actually the best that can help you balance your ph level the honey can also help you balance your ph level if you're having photosensitive skin your ph level is not balanced then these are the natural stuff you want to look out for and I use oatmeal as well. Oatmeal is an amazing exfoliant, natural exfoliant that will actually shed out all the dead skin cells on your skin. Also help to balance your pH level. And one 
amazing ingredient that I used was apple, fresh apple. Oh my word, that is <laughs> the bomb, guys. If you try this and you're consistent about it, you will definitely see a result. If you know you have issues right now on your skin, my advice would be try to use this at least for two weeks straight. Do not skip a day, yes. I bet you, believe you me, come back, give me your testimony on this one. You would love the result. Your skin will be supple. Your skin will be brighter. In fact, if you have post-inflammation hyperpigmentation on your skin, this is a very good solution, natural solution for you. And the last ingredient I used in that mixture was my pumpkin seed oil. Pumpkin seed oil is amazing. You don't want to use too much of that because we are actually trying to get, get out some excess oils that we have on our skin so you don't want to use too much of that the reason why i added that is to just add a little bit of moisture into the mixture so you want to do this combination all at once use it straight up two weeks please 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 consistency is the key i can't stop saying that if you want to go natural then you want to stick to what you're doing see the result and then you'll be amazed once you are done after two weeks, I would suggest you reduce it to three times in a week. Then you, if you see that your skin is getting much better, you can do it at least once in a week and then reduce depending on what you feel like. It is not harsh for the skin. They are all natural ingredients and they will help you go a long way. Trust me, guys. Now, one other solution is for you to buy yourself potatoes. Not the sweet potatoes, the Irish potatoes. Match that up. Get yourself a pad, yeah? A cleansing pad, the face pad. Put the, put the, the potato space on that. Just apply that on your eye area, yeah? For those people that have dark circles around the eye, that will help you a lot. For those people that have uh, an even skin tone, you can squeeze out the juice, put it in a spray bottle container, and then you want to spray on your face. Do that every time. If you're home, you can continuously do that. Just anytime you feel like your face is dehydrated, you just spray it continuously. Keep spraying it you would see that there would be a change also when it comes to an even skin tone my advice is also trying to use a product that have fatty acid in it and avocado is amazing too for that you want to get yourself fresh avocado you can combine all of these together not combine them together like cleanse your face use a physical natural exfoliant that I just talked about like I said I'll be leaving the video up here on somewhere in my description box or in the comment section you can check that video out yeah so you use that as the physical scrub and then you use the avocado as your max and then you use the potatoes as your toner this is a very great solution for you guys I promise you in the next two weeks, you will come back and give me your testimony on this one. Yes, yeah, so what else do I want to say? Now, let me quickly talk about my product here because I got my labels yesterday. I'm so excited. Let me pull this here. I just want to show you guys this because I know some of you think, oh, maybe she's not serious or she's not ready to sell her product. These are my labels. They came out yesterday. Yay. Yes, I've got some of them here. And some of them here. They are so much here. And we are actually walking towards launching very soon by the grace of God Almighty. It's just that my timing right now is so, so, so bad. There's so much going on in my household. There's so much going on in my personal life. There's so much going on. I look, this is not just, I'm not trying to make excuses for myself. There's so much going on and I love to do stuff that I'll be happy about. I love to do stuff that I feel will help a lot of people. My target aim is not all about the money. Yes, I need the money because I've spent so much. I definitely need to get some um, income on what I am doing. But at the same time, my main focus is for people to buy my product and be happy about it. That's the reason why I am working my butt off like seriously to get there and we will get there very soon, okay guys? just be patient with me i love the fact that most of you guys are patient and yeah 
What else, what else do I want to say? If you're confused about what I just talked about here today, please do not hesitate to leave your comments in my comment section. Any question you have, I'll be willing to reply back to you as soon as I can. If you're new to my channel, you are absolutely welcome here. I love to teach people how to DIY, which is do it yourself. I'll be making tons and tons of videos very soon. And I will tell you guys, there's just so much, so much, so much coming up and um, no problem promises here <laughs> I have to say that because I don't want to promise and fail I don't like to promise and fail but obviously I would do something to change my present situation so I would spend more time here on YouTube uh, what else do I want to say if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload a new video you can follow me on Facebook you can follow me on Instagram I would prefer you follow me on Instagram if you have any private messages message you want to send to me please send it to me via instagram and i'll be willing to reply back to you as soon as i can thanks guys for watching my video like i will always say if it doesn't feed you do not water it bye for now guys and stay blessed i love you okay guys